<laughs> Hi everyone, I've had a bank holiday weekend feeling rough as old boots, so I'm going to make up some lost fishing time and try and catch a trout during the Mayflower Hatch that's now currently occurring down on the River Chew. This will be my third or fourth vlog, I think, at this little venue that's local to me. Uh, my main aim is just to try and get out of the house. Is this some kind of joke? Is it really? I mean, look. Having a laugh, are they? Yay. I haven't been out for four days. When I last went out, it was spring. Now it appears to be summer, 28 degrees. Yeah, roasting hot. Keeping it simple, just going to fish the one point fly, dry fly, as it should be upstream, and uh, yeah, see if I can catch bigger fish than Ian, that's what it's all about. Watch out, Ian. There's uh, <coughs> an old saying that if you get ephemera and Danica, it's a sign of the rivers going downhill as far as the environment's concerned. So they like silt, a burrowing mayfly. But they still need good quality water and oxygen. Trout was stupid. Mayfly are even stupider. Is that a word? No, I put about 20 metres away from the river and decided to land in the puddle. Check that out, it's just thick with mayfly. The downstream oh, caster. <laughs> You're making some friends there, are you? Yeah, I just feel it's amazing. I've had a little one, but he was very small. Probably well done. About a tenth of the size of the one I had yesterday. That's an absolute corker. Yeah, it sounded like it. Oh, it's amazing. I thought I had a big chub or something. It was just tearing up and down the, the, um, the river. There's some, there was a big, not, not just there, but round that corner, there was a big old fish. I, I was there for about half an hour. Oh, well, that didn't take long. That's a lovely sized fish for this river. I'm going to risk everything trying to get it into a net. I think I'm probably going to drown. I thought we had a chub. No. Yeah, well that one was a nice one. The one I had was half decent. Yesterday I had that bigger and it's like, well, last year I don't think I had any fish that were anywhere near that size. No, because I think all these trees that have come down are, are doing it an absolute... I know, I know you're favor. saying about slowing the river down and stuff, but by the same token, it also creates a habitat as well, doesn't it? So it works yeah, so if it causes um, riffles and squeezing and... Um, well, it's just somewhere to hide as well. It, causes the, it strangles the flow and just picks it up just as it goes past those trees, and it scours the bottom a little bit, and you send up a few more, well, plenty more little scoured gravel patches than you would if there wasn't any trees in the river. Yeah. Bad form, isn't it? Downstream, bad form, yeah. Bad form, I saw your video. Yeah. That's considered bad form. That is. The good thing is... <laughs> Brilliant. Well, he's, he's not scared of fly line. He's right underneath it, isn't it? No, I literally slapped the water with that one as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, and that's why I love this so much. <laughs> I don't think that was mine. No, it wasn't. It was two foot behind it. Mm. Surely they can't resist the Mohican. Amazing how they reject it, to be honest. It gets wet and then becomes very splashy, though, as a fly, doesn't it? Yeah. Better than those other ones I've had, though. No, I think you've scared them all away, Charlie. <laughs> that was a nice cast. We have Reginald Mole Husband. Probably the best driver in the world. Uh, more tricky than it looks, isn't it? Uh, there must be days because I've passed twice and not had, had a fish. I've just spent 20 minutes trying to catch whatever it is that's rising and failed miserably, so hopefully Charlie can show me how it's done.
casting's definitely a lot better, that's for sure. What would what would they what would Charlie say about this? Go. It's not good form. That's what he'd say. That's right. You must never do this. But but when he comes fishing with me, he throw the form book out of the window. <laughs> Make him do it. Downstream, cross stream. I'll whip it back really trotting. Take. Look, there's a mayfly. So many mayfly coming off the water. Nothing's coming up. But having said that, they were still rising, weren't they? So. Yes, there we go. Have it. Nicely done, sir. Thank you. This is my smug look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is smug now because it doesn't reach that. <clears throat> there we go. Beautiful plumage. They've got those white lines along the bottom, the top and bottoms of their fins. Quite unique, really. It's a lush fish. Red lines on the top and bottom of his tail. Do you find your net detaches itself from the magnet? No, I find the opposite. I find it, it doesn't. Find it too difficult to detach. That's me done. My work here is done. <laughs> <laughs> Time to move on, I think. I think last time I did a vlog, my rod of choice was a six foot two weight with a four weight line on it. This time I've gone for a, uh, a Gray's Streamflex eight foot four weight with a four weight line. Coral pinks, I think that's a Cortland 4 for 4. Another nice obliging mayfly on my hand, just landed there. He'll be dead tomorrow, I expect. There's my imitation. <laughs> Looks very different, doesn't it? Fish don't seem to mind though. In terms of rod length, if you're in the river, you tend to want 6 foot. If you're out the river, you're wanting 8 or 9, so there's no easy answer to that. Try and get through all this lot first. There you go. A lot of trout anglers these days don't even condone the use of a using a net and hook them in the water. But for Such beautiful fish, you can't just let them go without being a quick look, surely. Off you go, mate. <laughs> I'm watching woodpeckers, nut hatch, kingfishers. It's not just the trout that gorge on all these flies either. There's so much going on. I caught that one on a French partridge. Mayfly, very traditional pattern. It's soaking wet now. But there we go. To be honest, I nailed anything. If we had duck's feather on, they'll probably nail it. Risking life and limb for a 10 ounce fish. I've got to try and get back across this river that's about eight foot deep, and I've got a camera in my bag that's not waterproof. So, yeah, it's going to take another half hour to get out, I think. Right in front of me. Anyway. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.